Hi everybody, this is Damian Boudreau, founder of Auto Training Academy and author of Keep It Simple Selling. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Ever heard this one? You ever read this story to your children? You know how the story goes, right? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. The first little pig wanted to get in the car business. Yeah, he wanted to get in the car business. He said, I'm going to build my business out of straw. That's right. That fool was in the up business. That's all he did. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years in the business, he waited on ups. That's right. Every month, he started off the month at zero sales. That's right. Every month. Oh, he had a good business, but every month he had to get dressed. He tied himself to the front of the door and he waited for the next person to walk in. That's right. He sold two out of 10. It was crazy. He talked to 60 people. He might sell 10, 15 cars because he was in the up business. Built his business a straw. That ain't smart, him. Because every month he got to start over. Every month. The second little pig, you remember? Built his business of sticks. That's right. This little pig built his business of sticks. Man, that's crazy. Every month, his sticks got blown down. He was in the internet department. He was on the phone call, confirmed appointments with people he didn't know. He sold four out of 10 people. That means if he talked to 60, sold 40%, he was going to sell about 20. Oh, Lord, he was going to get rich. But the problem was that salesman who was waiting on ups, he kept doing that for five years, 10 years, 15 years, waiting for that internet lead to come in, waiting for the dealer to drag people to him. He sold four out of 10, but let me tell you what happened to him. Every month, he starts the month off at zero cost. Because that's the business he was in. He was at the mercy. He was at the mercy of the advertising. The mercy of how many leads can come in. Is the phone going, is the mailer program going to work? That's the way that salesman did business. But that third little pig, mm-mm. He built his business out of bricks. Because you see, that little pig knew that the business of his business was people. And the reason he was so, accept, so so successful in the business is because he just didn't just build relationships. No, he maintained the relationship. She maintained the relationship for life. Every time that customer came in or they visited, it didn't matter if they purchased the vehicle, did not purchase the vehicle, that salesperson, that little pig, he says, welcome to the dealership. I got you for life. He went to the restaurant. <gasps> Welcome. To, good to know you. I got you for life. He went to church. He got them for life. He went to the vendors who come to the store. He got them for life. He was friends with everybody at the dealership. The back of the house mouse. He connected with everybody. And here's the thing. That salesperson sold eight out of 10 people because he was in the relationship business. She was in the relationship business. She sells eight out of 10 cars. That's crazy. Here's another thing you got to know about customers or salespeople who are doing this business based on relationship. They never started zero. They always know somebody coming in. They always have a list of people at the beginning of the month, before it starts, that are going to come in. You see, you got to know that it's okay to be in the up business and the internet business for the first three, four, five years of your business. But the purpose of that business is to build the relationships so you have a relationship tree that you can use forever when the apple starts to get ripe. When the apple starts to get ripe, look, you hear what happened. The apple falls off the tree and it doesn't go down the street and go into all the other dealerships. Falls off the tree, <laughs> lands right in that salesperson's hand. She takes that apple and she carefully places it in her monthly basket. You see that person? She gonna be in business a while. 
That person has a scalable business that she can go and sell more people. If she just talks to 40 people, she's going to sell 30. She and her business, she can pass that business off to her children. It can be a legacy business because it's all about people. And that's what you want to build. You like people, yes? You want people to like you, yes? you in the right business. No more one night stands. When you shake somebody's hands, they're yours for life. Look, I want you to pay attention to people this week. I want you to shake their hand and I want you to build lifelong relationships. I want you to use your relationship management software to hold on to those people for life. Quit jumping around from dealership to dealership. Stay in one spot. You got this. Keep posting and you sending me your comments. Keep listening to the podcast and listen, reading the blog. Thank you so much. Look, this business is your business. You got to act like it. You got to build your own business and it's all about people. Thank you for listening. Y'all have a good week. I'll see you next week. Talk to you later.